What's going on guys? I just created a new character in EverQuest and I skipped the tutorial and I went over to the Plane of Knowledge which is probably a pretty good place to go for new characters who are lacking in knowledge. What we're going to teach you here is how to set up the user interface. It might be a little bit different than what you see here but uh, this is pretty close. One of the things that I'm going to do is turn off the voice bar because I just don't like it and I don't use voice chat when I play. So Alt-O or up here in the window selector which is Alt-W for on and off. I'm going to go to the voice tab and disable the voice chat just to clear that. I'm going to get rid of Alt-W because I don't need it. Here's my compass which I actually am going to use eventually. And I've got a whole bunch of other crap. I might even have like another chat window that says other chat. I can close that. What I'm going to do is right click and make a new chat window. It's called chat1. What I'm going to do is right click filters guild because I will be joining a guild and make another one. right click filters group and I'll make another one filters tell okay here's my spell bar which you would get on a spell casting character you wouldn't really get that on a, a pure melee class such as a warrior or a rogue or a monk I'm going to move that up here I have a couple of spells. One is Minor Healing, one is Courage. I see that I have something under Effects here. I don't know what exactly what that is. I'm not familiar with it. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Stretch out Effects a little bit more. And it's actually Temperance, which is a nice buff from a higher level Cleric. But I'm going to turn that off. So it's clicked off. Left click. Um, what we're going to do now is Oops, I'm going to hit F1 to target myself. Here's the target window. I'm not a very good spellcaster yet. But here I now have Courage. And under the target window, it's actually going to show which effects are on your current target. Up here, this is, I think, the player window. I don't remember the name of it. But it shows my stats. Here is the uh, spell book. And when I get new spells, I can inscribe them in here. Um, I can right click and hold to get a description of the spell. Or I can right click and then right click again to move it to a new destination in the spell book just for a little bit of organization. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Here's the group window. And you'll notice that when I'm not actively hovering over a window, it could go and fade. I don't really like that too much. So I'm going to right click, window alpha, faded level, bring it up to 100%. I'm going to do the same for normal level. It's, it's actually 100%, so that's good. Um, I'm going to do the same with this one. because it bugs me. Okay, it's a little bit better. These buttons you can't really get rid of. Station Cache and EverQuest. Uh, one thing that I will do is click on EverQuest and go to Actions, Audio Triggers. I'm going to create a new pattern that tells you. So anytime that any of my text our chat windows show uh, tells you it's going to play a sound. I'm going to try that one. That way when I'm not looking at my window I can hear when someone is trying to contact me in the game. It's kind of handy. So that's good. I'm going to apply it. 
you'll see that uh, I have an extended target window, which is very handy. I think it came in the Vale of Alaris expansion, which is number 18. So you might not have that if you're a free-to-play player. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off, just so it's out of the way. Uh, I am missing a pretty important one, though, which is my uh, my actions. I think that's Control A. I like, I like having actions. I can click on one of these, and I am a cleric, so I actually have some pretty basic actions that I can take. Um, let's try let's try sneak. I'm gonna left click and hold, bring this up on the cursor, drag it over to my hotbar. Here's the main page. If I only click find, if I'm lost in a big zone like the plane of knowledge, here's my map with backspace or the M key. pretty big zone. It's got lots of NPCs. Uh, one thing that I want to do is click show group. And I don't know exactly where I am, so I'm going to just do, uh, let's try, how about if I want a frog lock mercenary? As a new player, mercenaries are very helpful. And I'm going to go and follow this path. If I want this uh, yellow path to go away, I can click End Find, but it brings me right to the mercenary. I'll close that. Here's the male frog lock, here's the female frog lock. Which one you choose is going to affect the gender of your mercenary. I'm going to go with the male. Uh, by the way, I want to make sure that under the mouse option tab. Mouse look is checked. That way when you right click the mouse key and drag it around you can pan and change your view on the fly. Very important. Otherwise you have to do it with page up and page down. It's not that nice. So mouse look definitely. Anyway I'm going to right click on the mercenary And I'm going to get a journeyman. And here it's going to say uh, what type of mercenary it is. So I'll click over here until I find the tank. Here, uh, since I am only level 1, it's going to show zero purchase cost and zero upkeep for the first 10 levels or so. And I'll click higher. Here's my mercenary window. And I now have a mercenary in the group taking up one of my six group spots. Now here my name is now green which indicates that I'm the group's leader and I can set roles for the group as the leader. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to make myself the main assist and I'm going to set him since he's a tank as the main tank. So that's not too bad. He's going to follow me around for a little bit. He's the same level as I am. Here he comes. And I can target him with uh, mouse click, untarget with escape, or I can target him here by clicking and hit escape or I can target myself with F1 since he's a second group member I can hit F2 and now he's targeted and I'll cast courage on him and he now has the courage effect for the next 12 minutes you may notice that I have two instances of EverQuest running so I actually have a separate character running on the same computer and here I am right there different character um, and this character is in a guild and is actually going to invite 
Bombat to the guild. And I can't type today. So I'm going to do a guild invite. Switch back over. Here's a pop-up. and I'm going to say yes. I'm now in the guild as a recruit. To get that, you'll need to have receive guild invites checked. Now if I hit Alt G, here's my guild window, the guild manager. And it's just a few alternate characters that I have that I don't really play very often. So up here where we have the chat filter set up, I can do slash G U. Hello. And that goes to that window. If I want to reply, after I set myself a little bit higher in rank, I'll say to a member. I now have guild chat set up and in its own window. Let's say that I want to go and invite my other character to a group. Here in the group window I can click invite on my other character. Here's follow. There's really no pop-up window. It just says it changes from uh, invite to follow. Anyway. And I'll try setting her to uh, main assist. Now a little cross swords icon will be set on Adeline. Okay, so let's say that I don't really care for this whole user interface setup and I want to copy hers instead. And maybe I don't even like the user interface itself. So I'm going to change the whole thing. First thing I'm going to do, and I can do this all in one, but I'm going to show you. Here's load UI skin. And I actually have two user interfaces installed and that's because I downloaded one from this website here eqinterface.com it's kind of awesome here's the one I downloaded default old when I got that and here's a shortcut to my EverQuest directory I put it in UI files and it's got its own folder with all the files in it so that has to be there on the system to select it the new user interface. I'm going to keep my layout for now, but I'm going to select default old and load skin. And this could take a few seconds. There it goes. You'll also see here under Adeline in the group window that she has a pet. Gasober, and he's actually right here. If I want to select Adeline, I can I can hit F3, so after me, my mercenary, and Adeline. She's number th 3, so F3. If I hit F3 again, it will select her pet. So that's not too bad. And F3 again will select the owner of the pet. You'll notice that my spell icons have changed. I just happen to like them a little bit better and here under the effects they've also changed. I just like the artwork and it feels a little bit cleaner and I can understand it a little bit easier. Also the icons are a little bit bigger and they're easier for me to see. Now if I want to copy the layout from one character to another after I kinda like you know what I'm doing I can do copy layout And I'm going to do these copy from her. And now it's basically a mirror of what she's got, more or less. So that's kind of cool. If you have it set up on one character that you really like and you just want to copy it over. Even though as a cleric I won't have a pet for a little while. Here's a potion belt. Uh, I don't remember exactly how that works, but here's another hotbar that I'm not using. Here's my sneak. When I click it, it's going to have a cooldown. 
Right now it's 7, 6, 5 seconds until I can use the ability again. There we go. Here's my inventory. If I just hit I. And I'm pretty much naked. Do you have a backpack? Oh well. Let's say I want to make her the leader. I can set to leader, or I can type make leader player name. If I want to know who else is in the zone, it's a pretty big zone, I can just do a slash who. There are 53 of us in the zone. Let's say I want to see who is between level 1 and level 20. So I'll do who. And there are only two of us. Or if I want to look for who magician 50 100. So it's going to show all magicians in the same zone between level 15 and 100. And there are actually two. Uh, if I want to show who all magician 100, it's going to show every magician at level 100 on the entire server that's online at the, at the time. And it shows 19 plus people that are anonymous. So it's kind of handy to look up people. Uh, one of the first things that I want to do in the Plane of Knowledge is bind my soul. And soul binding is important because when you die, it sets your respawn point. So I'm going to go over to the soul binder and ask her nicely to bind my soul. Now if I die again, I'll respawn right here. Good to know.